Are you asking about Britt? I don't know. I, uh... Well, I saw the way you held her hand last night at the Metro Court. What's that about? Uh, is this a bad time? Uh, no, no, not at all. Come in, come in. How's Gladys? Uh, they're going to discharge her in a few days. Oh, mm. great. So she'll be going right to Bridgeport. <laughs> She's um, actually going to be staying with me for a while. Oh. At least until she gets better. Okay, well, at least you'll be around to keep an eye on her. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck. And, uh, Jason, man, I, I, I can't apologize enough for all the trouble my mother caused you. It's, uh, it's on her, not you. Even so. Hey, look, I hate that Gladys lied to the cops and framed Jason, but she did step up and tell the truth. I mean, she had to be threatened and coerced, but she still did it. Thank you, Carly. I, I appreciate that. But that's not the reason I came by to see you. Okay. What's on your mind? Well, now that Cyrus's organization is falling apart, I think it's time we have a conversation about my future. Been inside Renault's organization for nearly a year. I know the ins and outs. Well, now that Jason's back, I don't plan on having an active role in the business. I, I, I thought that might be the case, but I, I didn't want to assume. So, what do you say? I would say that you, uh, you have a baby on the way. And you're all set up with the garage, and if you think that's going to go away because Sonny's gone, it won't. You are family. I, I hear what you're saying. I do. But these last few days, as dangerous as they have been, it's the first time I felt like I've been making a difference anywhere since I ended my last tour. I want to keep making a difference with my family. I get, I get it. I do, but your family isn't just us. Brando and I would take a long, hard look at what's not only best for you, but for Sasha and the baby. I needed a show of force to send a message to the five families so they would honor their agreement with our organization and not try anything against us. Was I wrong? No. It's exactly the move I would have made. Great. I mean, this whole year has been turned upside down. It's just been crazy. I mean, I, I, I've been doing things I never thought I'd do. I'm making decisions I never thought I'd make. Yeah, it makes two of us. And sometimes, you know, it, it, um, it feels like Sonny's been gone a lifetime. And other times it feels like he's right here. The problem is you went to the five families meeting and you took Sonny's seat. I'm telling you, it went really well. I did great. I, I don't doubt that you did great, but I'm back and it's not clear who's in charge. They don't know, is it you or is it me? Well, maybe we both are in charge. Uh, look, the other families are gonna watch how this plays out and if we handle it wrong, we look weak. How do we handle it right? Excuse me. Yeah. At this very moment, Cyrus is being transported out of the hospital by the feds. His reign of terror here, and apparently everywhere, is finally over. It's good. Good. From anyone else, that reaction would be disappointing. But you, I know that is your version of a shout of triumph. <laughs> anyway, I guess my... Time as your mole is over. Yeah, I guess so. So if we're gonna see each other, it's going to have to be because we want to. I guess it is. Bird again? What's going on? <laughs>